all right good student as you can see what we have is simultaneous equations in two variables you are given that 0.05 x minus 0.03 y is equals to 0.21 and 0.07 x plus 0.02 y is equals to 0.16 you are asked to solve the systems of linear equations in two variables so if you look at these equations you see that it's not like other equations you know for those that hasn't solved uh, linear equations in two variables that involve decimal the coefficients that involve decimals so when you see this type of problem the first thing you have to do is to label the equations you can label this one equation one a label here equation 2 once you have done that the next thing you have to do is to look at the coefficients of the each terms that make up the individual equation notice that the coefficients of each terms are in two decimal plus six so the easy way to solve these steps of systems of equations is to convert each of their coefficient terms into integer so looking at it, you see that the coefficients are in two what? The coefficients are in two decimal plus six. So that means that we can multiply each of the equation by hundred to clear decimal. We multiply each of the equation by hundred to do what? To clear decimal. That means hundred multiply each of the equation zero point zero five x minus 0.03y is equals to 0.21 and then 0.07x plus 0.02y is equals to 0.16 so this is the first thing you have to do once we have multiplied the equation we have what doing the operation that help us clear the uh, decimal so that we have 5x minus 3y is equals to 21 so we can call this equation 3 and then 100 multiply 0 0.07 we give us 7x 100 multiply 0 0.02 we give us what plus 2y and 0 0.16 multiplied by 100 we give us 16 so we call this one equation what 4 now that we have two equations that are the coefficients are in integer so the next thing you have to do is to obtain coefficients which differ only by sign by multiplying equation 2 by 2 and multiply equation 3 by 2 and the equation 4 you multiply equation 4 by 3 so let's clean here so if you multiply equation 3 by 2 and equation 4 by 3 multiply this by 2 multiply this by 3 so doing that 2 times 5 will give us 10x minus 2 times 3 will give us 6y 2 times 21 will give us 22 3 times 7 will give us 21 plus 3 times 2 will give us 6y 16 times 3 will give us what Mind you, this is 42. So this will give us 48. Now that we have um, multiplied the equation 3 by 2 and equation 4 by 3. So the next thing is to add the two equations. Add the two equations. Add up the two equations. 
so let, let this equation let write it here so that we will come to it later we see that 5x 5x minus 3y is equals to 21 and we call it equation 3 abbreviation then 7x plus 2y is equals to 16 we call this equation 4 so now we have gotten the the two equation after we multiply by 2 and the 3 respectively so the next thing you have to do is to add the two equation add these two equation this method we are using is called method by met uh, elimination method we are trying to eliminate one term so that we can one variable so that we can solve for the other variable and when we get the other variable we back substitute in the any of the equation we form to get the remaining variable so from here minus 6y plus 6y will give us 0 so 10x plus 21 will give us what that one remember plus 0 so it is like it has no value so you can clean it here we have what 2 plus 8 will give us 0 you carry 1 4 plus 4 8 plus 1 will give us 9 so divide both side of the equation by that one if you do that you have x to be 90 over that one now you have gotten s to be 90 over that one the next thing is to back substitute x equals to uh, back substitute s equals to 90 over that one into equation 3 that's just an abbreviation from here we have 7 in bracket 90 over that one plus 2y is equals to 16 so from here we have x to be 90 over that one that enable us clean here So once we have gotten the once we have back substituted x to be equals to 90 over that one the next thing is to simplify the equation that is formed simplify the equation which is formed so from here let's bring this equation up you can multiply it out if you do multiply out you have from here remember we back substitute sorry let's back substitute in equation 3 for simplicity this is equation 4 I say equation 3 so back substitute in a equation 3 back substitute in equation 3 have 5 in bracket 90 over that one minus 3y is equals to 21 so bringing it up 5 times 90 will give us 450 divided by that one minus 3y is equals to 21 so making 3y subject if it crosses the other side of the equation the right hand side it becomes what it becomes 3y plus 3y minus uh, 21 plus 21 crosses this side it becomes minus 21 then you write this value so once we have done that for simplicity divide both side of the equation by 3 it's like multiplying it by 3 so once we have done that we have y to be equals to 450 divided by that 1 bracket 3 minus 21 over 3 so what is the next thing to do the next is to simplify the, the equation 
so from here we have to do that what we have what the LCM of these two fraction is the same as start one multiplying three so they'll have 450 that one multiplying three divided by that one multiplying three will give us one one times 450 will give us 450 minus that one multiplying three divided by three will give us that one that one times 21 that one times 21 will give us what you give us 651 651 so here we have y to be equals to use your calculator 450 minus 621 651 you have minus 201 divided by that one multiplying by 3 and this will give us minus 67 divided by that one so that is the value of y this is the value of x and then we have that y is equals to minus 67 over that one this is the value of y now that we have gotten the value of s and y how do we know that this is the correct solution now that we have gotten the two values of y s sorry the values of x and the y in many cases it's always good to check your answer for external solution that is a solutions that looks like accurate uh, solution but it is not correct that is the external solution how do we do that we do that by substituting the values we got in the original equation so from here can we check this for external solution yes we can do that there is um let's um let's do it um from here check for external solution in this case we have that is substitute substitute the value of x y in the original original equation any of the original equation you can substitute here in equation one you can do that in equation two so we we use the two we use the both to confirm our answer so from equation one so we substitute in this case you have 0 0.05 wherever you see x you put 90 over that one 90 divided by that one 90 divided by that one minus 0 0.03 multiplying minus 67 divided by that one so use your calculator check the value here you have for my have 0 0.1452 plus Zero point what one four five two. So check the equation. Check the first equation. Sorry. So putting it, what is the value? Minus this is minus. So minus minus will give us plus. Plus. In this case you have 0 0.0648 0 0.0648 so adding the two values you have 
0 0.21 you see it because this value here is approximately um, equals to 2.9032 and the value here if you put it in decimal this value will be approximately approximately equals to minus 2.1613 both to four decimal places so do you need supply uh, multiplying it with 0 0.05 and this one 0 0.03 with this value you have 0 0.21 which means LC answer is correct Y answer is correct so I have to do the same for equation 2 so from equation 2 equation 2 what do we have have 0 0.07 0 0.07 multiplying 90 divided by that one minus 0 0.02 multiply minus 67 divided by that one so solving it this is the equal to is equal to use your calculator you have 0. Point 2032 minus 0 0.0432 do the subtraction you have 0 0.16 which correspond to the answer which correspond to the right hand side of the equation 0.16 so this suggests that the answers for x this value you got or we have gotten are correct both values of x and the y definitely satisfy the equation for x equals to 90 over that one and for y equals to minus 67 over that one. If you enjoy this video, please click the subscribe button to encourage me. Click the subscribe button to encourage me to bring more videos for your views. Like and share. Notification button whenever there is new update. You'll be the first person to receive the video. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next lesson. Bye for now.